<laughs> hey, let me just share a couple of little thoughts here, and then we're going to uh, flip on the lights. When you think about a uh, nativity scene and the display of the elements of Christmas, I don't know if you realize this or not, but it goes actually way back to a man by the name of Francis from Assisi who set it up way, way back in 1223. He got a vision from God to do this, and he got permission at that time from the Pope. He went out outside. It was a town in Italy. went outside of the town. There was a cave there, and uh, he had a friend borrow some animals. They had a wax figurine of Jesus, and they set it up in a cave. And he dedicated that, and it's interesting because he said this. He said um, during their Mass, he read the Christmas story from the Bible, and this is what he encouraged people to do. He said, you should trust, put your faith in Christ, uh, in the baby born in, born in a simple manger, reject hatred, embrace love, and look to God. Not, not a bad message, I would say. Um, tonight what I want to do is, I would like to thank... And uh, we don't want to take any credit for this, but I want to thank Maytown Church for being very gracious, uh, catching the vision for this. Yeah. And in, as the pastor of this church, um, we really dedicate this to Maytown community. We pray that Maytown will be the Bethlehem of Thurston County in the years to come, that people will make the trek out here in the middle of nowhere to see the Christ child that was born. Um, back in 1959, this, what is known as Christmas Island, a man by the name of L Leonard Huber, I don't know if any of the relatives of the Hubers are here tonight, but if they are, he started this tradition, and uh, he rallied city government, the mayors, the Army Corps of Engineers out of Fort Lewis, and they floated barges, and they had a uh, uh, first lighting ceremony in downtown Olympia on Capitol Lake, and it ran downtown through the uh, early 70s. From there, it went down over to uh, South Sound Shopping Mall. Some of you may remember it from the lake. Some of you remember it from the mall. And uh, after a season there, it was shut down. My father and I caught a vision to go after it. And uh, the, uh, the relatives of Leonard Huber graciously said, as long as you keep it in Thurston County, um, you, can, you can take it, which we did. We renovated it. At uh, the last church I was at for 17 years, Olympia Metro Church on Metro on Puget Street in Olympia, we displayed it there for nine years. Some of you may have seen it there. And then after a two-year uh, uh, shutdown, we God graciously provided for it to come down here. So this is its new home. We pray that you will all uh, help us get the word out. We don't claim any ownership. We're just the stewards of it. So I pray that you will uh, share it with family and friends. Get on your social blogs, Facebook. It'll run every night, starting tonight through 10 o'clock. On the weekends, on Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, we will have the, this bonfire uh, room open with refreshments, and uh, you'll be able to hang out, bring uh, youth groups or seniors down. Let me just read now a portion of the, uh, of the uh, Christmas story according to Luke. And then we will uh, pray a prayer of dedication. Reading, reading from Luke 1. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their hometown to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth to Galilee in Judea to Bethlehem to the town of David because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in claws and lying in a manger. 
Then suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace in whom his favor rests. Would you all just join me? I want to pray, and we just want to dedicate this new home. And I pray that this will be the uh, a beginning of family traditions to come and to enjoy, and that the, there will be lives that will surrender themselves to Jesus, and they'll all come to know the Savior. Father, in Jesus' name, we just ask right now, we come before you, we just pray this prayer of dedication. I ask, Lord, that you'll bless all the hands that have worked so hard. Just bless and pour out. I pray that we will never act as if we own something, but we're simply stewards of the greatest message the world has ever known. I pray, Father, that as this Christmas story is, is put out and the people come by, that lives will be changed, hearts will be touched, not just for time, but for eternity. I pray that broken lives and lives that have gone astray will see the light of Christmas. I pray, God, you will anoint this Christmas scene, anoint it with the Holy Spirit of God, guide it, protect it, watch over it, and let it give God all, all of the glory. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Amen.